Scotiabank launches Scotia Goes Green on Lionfish in support of the University of the West Indies. Well, this is really part two to the Scotia Goes Green program. A year ago, we launched Scotia Goes Green and we partnered with various organizations. So this was a natural second phase for us because again, this lionfish is now threatening the livelihood of some Jamaicans, threatening the rest of us that enjoy eating fish and also enjoy just, you know, frolicking in the sea. It started showing up in the wild in 1985 in, in, the, in the southeast coast of the US. It made its way slowly down Florida, Bahamas, hit Jamaica in 2008, and so far, it has spread all throughout the Caribbean in a mere three or four years. When the lionfish came to our shore, it did not help our cause. It really compounded the problem. The dangers of, of the lionfish, from an ecological standpoint, it can consume any fish that can fit in its mouth. So all the commercial important fish, all the ecological important fish, like the ones that clean the reefs, that keep the balance in check, it will consume them. That throws the balance out. It will impact fisheries tremendously. It will wipe out juvenile populations of fish, so they won't even get a chance to start reproducing to keep sustaining our fish populations that we want to actually make money from and support livelihoods. And so the boost that we get from having the association with NEPA, with the Ministry of Agriculture, and now with the Bank of Nova Scotia's foundation, uh, is hugely important to the eradication of this problem. There are interesting ways of dealing with this, including eating our way out of the problem. Part of what we're doing really is just an educational thrust to really tell people that you know the lionfish is a great fish to eat. It's not poisonous at all by any means. It's venomous. This venom is actually located in spines. Not all the spines of the lionfish are actually venomous. It's just some of them. These are the ones that you have to be careful of. Some of the spines are venomous, which can be trimmed off and the fish is just like any other fish. Basically, just your regular fish, no different from your red snapper, no, nothing at all. The lionfish is a good eating fish. There are people who like snapper because it's a little bit drier. There are people who like parrot fish because it's wet. Personally, I like parrot fish. But the lionfish has like an in-between and it's almost like sea bass and, and it's very delectable. Just the smell and the taste. And the, and the texture, I'm telling you, I was sold. I was gone home. I said, no, this is what fish is about. Rich Omega 3 is healthy, it's a wonderful fish. I normally have parrot or snap. And to me, it is much better than the parrot. Tell my girlfriend who has a restaurant to start using it. We're working on a new processing facility. It's about three months away. And it will be able to do further processing to fillet, to do whole fish, to do further prep season, ready to eat, ready to cook meals. It's reproduced every four days in the Caribbean region. It goes to 22 inches long. It's found in every single marine environment. Each female has the capacity to produce two million eggs per year. Now you have a situation where you're, you're really fighting an enemy with tremendous resources. Tremendous resources to reproduce its army. So we have to fight against it. And fight against it very hard very consistently with all hands on it. Teaching research and outreach as the university's mandate is helping us solve a problem which is of national importance. So the Department of Life Sciences, which is our parent department, through the Center for Marine Sciences, we have now housed the Landfish Project at our Discover Bay Marine Lab. So it's with great pleasure that I have the opportunity to hand over this wonderful new vehicle to the UWI Center. A vehicle such as the one we've just gotten from Scotiabank allows us to move the entire team with all their equipment from location to location in a very nice and neat fashion. So this is going to help us make a major dent in removing landfish, public education about landfish, and trying to move forward. We don't want to just sit in a lab and do research. We have to search for ways of getting involved with Jamaica, getting involved with the region and solving problems. And that's what we aim to do at the university. Typically we cut from the tail towards the head to get all the spines and cut as deep as possible right here. Okay? I'll just cut these off and put it up. The teller was brought to you by Scotiabank Group.